Hello, Wichita, and welcome to Council Chat. Uh, with me is my fellow M&M, uh, my fellow newbie, uh, my good friend, Council Member Maggie Ballard. Uh, she's in a very festive mood today. She also has a, a sweater on um, from Paxson's Blessing Box, which, if you're not familiar, is a charity that <laughs> she and her son started um, six years ago now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and they've been doing great work in the community. I know she's a little too humble to make the plug, so I'll go ahead and surprise her and do it here. Um, always check it out. Uh, Maggie, Maggie's personal uh, project, Paxton's Blessing Box, named after her son who wanted to do good things in the community. So go check it out just for the holiday season. Thank you for all of that. <laughs> um, let's see. Next week, we have a lot of different things on the um, agenda. We, ha we are going to continue with end of the year schedule to close out the year. Um, we're going, which includes approval of our bond council contract. Uh, we pay a bond council every time we sell general obligation um, or other bonds. Um, also, we uh, have to discuss engineering permitting software and permit fee increases. Uh, yeah, a lot of it's just housekeeping stuff. You get to the end of the year, you have to start um, working on the contracts for the next year and passing the contracts for the next year. So this is just setting us up. So we move seamlessly into uh, 2023. Seamlessly, yes. Seamlessly. That, yes, that's hope. Please. That's the word of the uh, <laughs> the year. Let's just hope for that. Um, also, we're going to look at an area restoration program which would help those with suspended driver's license find help. This is a bill that the state legislature has been working on for quite a few years. They passed it a year and a half ago. And just like with anything, we, we constantly look for ways we can reform or better the programs. Mm -hmm. And so we have some um, new ordinances and some new plans coming up that we are going to look at in order to make this, um, again, flow more seamlessly. Um, there's a lot of people who, if you get your license suspended and then, you know, how do you get to work? How do you get to taking your kid to and from school? So mm -hmm. this is recognizing some of the issues that they have with just maintaining a regular life and uh, making things a little easier. So that way people don't get stuck in this pattern and this cycle and go further down the hole. So right. um, it's, it's going to be a good thing and it's going to be a good thing for our community. Um, we're also looking at our annual salary ordinance for city employees and revisiting some of our insurance coverages. Um, I am a strong believer that people should be paid what they're worth. We have a lot of great people who work here at City Hall. We have a lot of people, great people who work for the city in general. So this is just making sure that they get paid what they deserve. So always, I, I know it's always going to be controversial, mm -hmm. but it's definitely something to pay people what they're worth. It's something we should be looking at. I agree. Um, and finally, we're looking at the website redesign project to better serve uh, the public. So I'm excited about that. Sometimes our website can be a little overwhelming. Um, so yeah, yeah, hopefully it helps navigate through some of that. We, we've had some good discussions with um, members of the public. Um, some with a higher profile than others, but uh, there have been issues with just um, the navigation around our city website. So again, we're listening to you. We're trying to um, work on the, the suggestions that a lot of people in our community have, and this is one of them. So um, hopefully we can come up with a good product as a result. Now, we've been in council, on council for almost a year now. Um, we've gotten some great things done. I know from your end, um, specifically making sure that in the next year we're going to be installing um, water stations throughout the city mm -hmm. um, for regular residents and also the homeless to always have access to water. I know that's one of the things that's been close to your heart. Mm -hmm. um, you've been kicking butt this year. You've gotten a lot of things done. Um, what, what so far this year would you say? It doesn't even have to be a big thing. What what has touched your heart? What has kind of moved the needle for you a little bit? Um, I think just people feeling like they could reach out to me and me helping them solve the problem, whatever it is, big or small. Um, just feeling like they felt like they could come to me and that I would be able to find a solution that was acceptable for them. And some were more difficult than others, but um, I've really enjoyed my first year and 
I'm really happy with all of the work that we've all done because it's taken all of us to get yeah. um, most of it done. And I'm really excited to um, start working on some things for next year and um, looking at how projects get into the CIP. And, you know, we've learned a lot, but there's still some lots more that we haven't learned. So I'm excited to keep expanding on our knowledge. Right. Yeah. Uh, Maggie's going to be a, a two termer. I'm, I'm pretty sure of that. So. <laughs> It might take us to the end of eight years to finally figure all of the city hall out, but yeah. uh, I know you'll be working on it because you, you work your butt off, and I really do appreciate that. Yes. Um, now, a couple of uh, harder questions here. Favorite Christmas movie? Home Alone. Home Alone. Okay, well, that's not I have too a 12-year-old bad boy, Home Alone. <laughs> <laughs> My 11-year-old girl loves Home Alone as yeah. well. Um, personally, I think, though, you can't go wrong with Scrooged. It's a little rougher Scrooge. around the edges, but it, it really has a great meaning and some great comedic uh, points in that one. So, yes. um, best Christmas candy or Christmas treat? Um, I like peanut brittle. Peanut brittle. Mm -hmm. okay, well, what about you? Well, I'm glad to see you have an 80-year-old woman inside <laughs> of you somewhere. Um the little Debbie's Christmas trees. Oh lordy! Yeah, yeah, and, and they're funny. only they're only good for, or they only come out this part time of the year. And I end up having a fight with my kid over the last one or two of them. Yeah, there's no fights over those at my house. Yeah. Oh yeah. No. Well, I know to come over and raid your house the next time. Yes. Because uh, the Elf on the Shelf every single year seems to get into my collection, and it, it's it's disturbing how addicted <laughs> the Elf is to my my treats. That's funny. Um, any plans for the weekend as far as um, holiday events? Um, are you getting your shopping done this weekend? I'm going to be doing all of my shopping this weekend. <laughs> um, Paxson has his last soccer game, and I have some things I need to get done around the house. So. Oof, yeah, I got most of mine done as well. Um, we've done some shopping so far, a lot of small business shopping. Good. So. Um, if you have a chance, find something unique. Find something besides just a gift card or um, something that everybody else gets. Um, take a look at some of the smaller shops around the areas and um, support your fellow Wichitans. Yes, so, I love that. Yeah. Uh, well, thanks for joining us. And be sure to subscribe and follow on Apple, Spotify, or wherever you listen to your podcast. Ho, ho, ho. Merry Christmas, Wichita. <laughs>